What's going on today guys? Black Friday is almost here, so I thought it'd be fun to kind of go over some of my favorite plugins that I've been waiting for to go on sale because I knew they would. And uh, so we're here. It's this week, you know, there's a lot of stuff on sale all over the place, so you gotta kind of spend your money wisely. I'm just gonna give you five of my favorite plugins that I've been personally waiting for to go on sale. And uh, these, a lot of these websites and these companies have multiple things on sale, or some of these websites have everything's 50% off, but I'm just gonna go over specific plugins with each company. So all five of these plugins are going to be, you know, obviously coming from my standpoint, guitar oriented or the home recording enthusiast, music producers, that kind of thing. So let's just jump right into it. First off, Trivium Drums from Bogren Digital. I already have some GGD stuff, but I want a different flavor and some kind of different sounds. And this looked really interesting to me. It's half off now, so currently it's $48 and change here in the US. And um, it just looked really cool. I saw some reviews on YouTube, sounded great. I love the look of this UI. That's really just clean. It looks really cool. It's very functional. You kind of, you know, just jump right in. You can tell what you're doing right off the bat. And it was recorded at this Fascination Street Studios, which looks amazing. They've got uh, 23 foot tall ceilings in that room. So I guess there's some really good room reflections and stuff. It was just kind of custom built for this purpose. So I'm sure that this drum would sound good, you know, in your mix. They've got a lot of other stuff on sale too, but we're just looking at the drum kit today. So Trivium Drums, that's the first one. Uh, next up, I'm looking at Gin Bass 2 because I've yet to get, you know, a lot of bass programming under my belt. And uh, I've got a, a couple products from Submission Audio so far, but this is a heavy one, right? Everyone pushes the, the Gin Bass 2, the Dingwall bass. Uh, it's supposed to sound amazing for especially the heavy metal stuff. And uh, I don't know why I just didn't pick this one up yet. I think I was just waiting for the sale because I knew Black Friday would be here. So half off, 7450 USD. Can't miss it. You know, that's an awesome one right there. And uh, yeah, because I don't really like to play bass. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have a bass. I just don't want to play it much. I don't want to mix it. This kind of just helps you just get a jump start on the sound, the mixing with that. You know, if you're not familiar with Submission Audio, you kind of get three basic tones. You get the DI, of course. You get a grit, which is like a lower gain setting. And then you get the, the full distortion. And then you can tweak all of the parameters for, with each one. It's really nice. It's it's very easy to use. It, you use it in contact if you're not familiar with it. And you can tweak all your MIDI stuff too, you know, settings how you like them. So it sounds great. Got to get it half off. You know, can't miss it. Next up, this is for anybody who produces music. Oh, i got to turn the brightness down. Anyone who produces music, this one is going to be great for you, especially uh, and professionals as well use this stuff and mixers and stuff. Next up is Golf Oz from Sound Theory. A lot of professionals use this from what I've seen, and it's an intelligent EQ. It's kind of a spectral enhancer. It helps to rebalance your mix a little bit if, if you need that assistance, and it's very intuitive, very easy to use. I mean, I've watched demos on how to use it. It's pretty simple and straightforward, and you kind of think, well, you're not looking at much, right, for the price, but it does a lot under the hood. So currently, this is on sale for 120 bucks, essentially U.S. So you're getting, uh, you're getting like 40% off. That's a pretty good deal from this kind of a company that generally doesn't ever run sales, and probably the best, you know, deal you're gonna get with this. So go ahead and jump on that one if you're somebody who does mixing, mastering or you just want to make sure that your demos sound a little bit cleaner, this really does help. I use the free trial. You can get a free trial. Check it out for yourself. And if you like it, buy it because now's the time. Uh, next up is something that's very similar to GoFoss, but then it's different too. I mean, Oak Sound Soothe too. I see a lot of people in our kind of guitar community, in the metal community, and just music production in general, a lot of people use this plugin. Soothe 2 is also an intelligent EQ. But mostly what it does is smooth out or soothe harsh frequencies, frequencies that you just don't want to hear that are annoying. And it does it in real time, you know, with its own calculations, its own algorithm, but it's very useful. I've seen a lot of people use this on their mixes and they just sound really good with it. Normally it's $209. Now it's 139. So you're getting what, 70 bucks off. That's a great deal. So I would get one of these, either Soothe 2 or Golf Oss, or if you've got a ton of money to burn, get them both. They do different things, but they're in a way kind of similar. They both work to kind of fix and somehow enhance uh, your final product as far as your music goes. Next up, let's get back into the guitar stuff. So this is Neural DSP's Nolly X, Archetype Nolly X. Yeah, it's been out for a long time. They just did the update, um, the update a few months ago, the, the X version. And this is a great all-arounder. If you're new to Neural DSP's ecosystem or you're just new to amp sims uh, in general, this might be one of the first ones you want to check out because it's a great all-arounder. It does the heavy, heavy metal, modern metal stuff. It does the hard rock stuff and cleans as well. It sounds great. So this particular amp, uh, 
This particular plug-in rather has four amplifiers, four cabinets, and Nolly has his own personalized settings for the equalizer, if I can find it. Uh, there it is. So the settings he has here are a little bit different. They're tailored to his personal taste, the band frequencies, as opposed to all of the other Nero plugins, which kind of all have the same um, uniform band settings. It's kind of cool. Anyways, it sounds really good. You can get a free trial on this one if you want to. It sounds great. Um, it's half off. Most of the Nero stuff, I think, is half off. So, I mean, you really can't pass it up. If you've been waiting to get one of these things, but you don't want to spend 100, 120 bucks, now's the time to jump in on that. Now, that's my top five. I'm going to give you one more extra one just because. It's another drum plugin. This is Smash and Grab 2.0. So, this is an update GGD did a few months back to their Smash and Grab compressor. This compressor is built specifically for its tailored for drums. Um, you could use it on other things as well if you want to, but it's made for drums, for your drum mix, your drum bus. You may have seen Nolly's apology video a few months ago when they was discussing the update. Uh, this drum type knob wasn't actually functioning at all. It wasn't working as intended, so I think it was just kind of a programming error on their part, and nobody kind of realized it for a while. So they fixed that. They've updated a few other things as well. And so this is just a better you know, compressor than it ever was. It was already working really good. A lot of people I've seen use this on their mix. It kind of helps you to hit the ground running as far as compression and mixing your drums. Um, it just gets you you know, so much further, so much quicker. So if you're somebody like me who's really new to drum programming, drum mixing, all that stuff, enhancing the sound of your drums, making them sound full, but you know, punchy, whatever you're looking for, this can help you to do it. So there you go, guys. That's just some of the plugins I'm looking at. You know, there's so many deals out there right now, and um, you really have to be wise about where you want to spend your money. So what I did is I actually made a list of all of the different software I've been looking at, priced them out, and I even put a date next to each one to let me know when the offer expires. So some of these do expire at the end of the month on the 30th. Some go through to like the 2nd or the 3rd or 4th of December. So now's the time to get these, you know, jump on them. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you have any recommendations for some other software that you've been looking at or that you just recently purchased during Black Friday, let me know down in the comments below. I really appreciate it. That's all for today, guys. Happy shopping. Happy holidays. I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya!